Hello, welcome to this tutorial I'm on Zimba and today we are going to work on the pedestrians walkway and we'll get started right away. You can take a look on top here. We have all our, all our shear studs already in place and what we are, we are going to place now is just a slight a slab on top of this. Now, first of all, prior to laying the slab, we are going to place, we are going to pl uh, first of all place the handrails for the pedestrians. Now, if you take a look closer, you, you can see some, you can see a post, some posts here. These, these are their handrails, po posts, and uh, we want to populate them to the full length of these, of these uh, pedestrians walkway on top here. So it will go all the way to, 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 to far end. So there's uh, a macro for handrails, and I prefer doing doing this manually because uh, the the macro reads the from start to end of the beam, and these are beams are uh, are chopped or have been cut into small smaller pieces. So if we work with the with the macro, it will will come up with the, uh, a very uh, awkward handrailings. So it's better to work it manually so let me just try one here so this is the macro i'm talking about a default one this one you'll find in in in, in uh, you'll find it by default the moment you, you install techno structure into your system so uh, i'll prefer to do it manually here by just uh, placing the posts here and then uh, we populate then then uh, we 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 create the railings and populate the same way so i select on these two I'll select on these two first. I'll select on this, and right click and come to special copy here, and uh, I'll pick on the on the x axis. I'll in this case I'll move in the opposite direction because the x axis is pointing in the opposite direction. So whichever di dimension I'll be feeding here will be will be prefixed with a negative sign because we are, we are moving against. Uh, uh, the pointing of our axis which in this case is the, is the, the, the x axis so in this case i want to populate this uh, with a, dist a center distance of 600 so i'll prefix this dimension with the negative sign right there so what i'm going to do first of all i'll get rid of this and i just need one and i'll go ahead and click okay that's okay and we have one there we have 200 uh two handrail post in place already in place so what we are going to do first of all is either we can populate this one go or we can just undo we can just undo and, and reselect these ones Reselect that and that then right click and come to special copy and we'll uh, bring this 158 in place and we'll populate this along the same direction and click ok and wait for that if uh, that to take effect so once once this ha has been copied you just stretch out and see whether they have been populated to the best direction or into proper direction or proper positions or uh, where where actually you intend them to be on so in this case this is the best position uh, position we would like them to be on now what i'm going to place because since now i've placed all, all the hand railing posts i'm going to place the, the rails in between this so I'll bring this close and come to cup plates. I'll come to cup plates. I'll first of all type cup here because I need to close this because uh, any accumulation of water into these uh, uh, square hollow sections will will have adverse effects on uh, on on the lifespan on the life lifespan of this member or on these members here. Now I'll come to cup plate here. And uh, select on the couplet I'll select on this right click and pick on top of that so we have a cup plate on top of that we've closed so there's no there'll be no accumulation of water that will be getting will will be finding the entry or finding their way into into this uh, into this uh, square hollow section and water will accumulate and starts uh, corrosion starts immediately and we lose and we start corrosion starts and uh, the quality of the hand railings comes to uh, to question now let me first of all change the thickness of this we need just a six, six millimeter thick and that's okay 
I'll, pl I'll press uh, apply and, uh, and accept that I'll come here and do the same thing here I'll just select on this then pick the midpoint right there and that's all double click to counter check or to confirm whether you still retain the same default setting of plate thickness right click and redraw now I've se I'll select on this again and select on this then populate the same way I'll go ahead and click copy and give some time to populate that all the way to the final end and I think that that has been done and if you take a look everything has been populated the best way possible right click and uh, click on on empty screen right click and redraw to get rid of any symbol of any active macro so I'll come to navigate because I want to rotate this and be able to see actually what I'm doing when I'm doing it correctly and I'll come to still I'll come to still beam and uh, I'll, I'll come once again to view and I'll rotate this using mouse and turn this round like that and I'll snap on that spot because I want to snap right at the center of that member and I also target the center of this member and I'll snap on that spot I'll come to navigate and turn that round like that I'll copy the same here by selecting on so selecting on that I'll select copy then I'll pick it from this spot or point and bring it all the way to this end all the way to that end and now I want to populate this along the Z axis so I'll, I'll go ahead and press control and select the, the other member I'll press control once again and come to special copy here and this time round I'm going to I'm going on Z axis and on the axis I'll get rid of this because I need three of these at a distance of three meters uh, I mean 300 millimeter prefixed with a negative sign because we are moving against against the Z axis right right there I'll go ahead and click copy and we have that in place I'll come to navigate and rotate this so in this case I'm going to change the sizes of these members first of all I select on that and select on this and that and select on that then double click on the final one I'll close that and come to uh, this radio button under uh, beam properties I'll select on this radio button to take me to uh, profile catalog I want to change the size of this profile then uh, I'll, I'll pick a different size I'll pick 50 or 40 40 will be okay 40 a thickness of 4 millimeter Will be strong enough i'll apply and accept that and cl then click modify then that's perfect i'll close this for the for, for 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 now then i'll go back and select all this once again i'll select all these select that and select that make sure you don't leave any member that you need to be included in your copying command or in your selection then uh, i'll right click and come to special copy here and I'll change this Z axis to zero. I'll come to X axis and I'll prefix my dimension with a negative sign. And here I'll feed 600 and I'll feed 158 here. Then I'll go ahead and click copy and give some give it some time and everything will be copied perfectly. Well, then if I zoom out, you'd see some extension here and just get rid of what you don't want by selecting on it and delete. So I'll come to navigate and rotate this and you'll be able to see we have our hand railings in place and perfectly connected. Perfect. This is how it looks. And now the next move is we want to create a very slight, a very, uh, 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 I mean, a slab on top of this, uh, shear studs, a, a slab with a smaller thickness just to provide us a, 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 a smooth or walkway uh, for the pedestrians now I'll start defining my slab here by coming to concrete and pick on the slab here so once we've, we've picked on the slab just we'll use to first of all start defining your points you create something sort of a polygon and the moment you close it uh, the slab is created and the thickness can be modified or can be customized to the user preference now I'll, I'll snap on that spot by starting to define the 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 parameter the perimeter of 
the the slab or the polygon now i'll zoom out and target this far end and i want to be as accurate as possible and i'll snap on that spot right here and i'll come to view and i want to be able i want myself to be able to see the far end when defining uh the polygon uh perimeter now i'll snap on that spot and go to my final point to close the polygon the, mo the moment i click on my initial initial point the slab will be created and you'll see that like that the slab has been created this is how we've done it and we have the slab on top of our shear studs now i'll double click on this slab and you'll see the thickness of the slab you can increase it or in increase it or uh, decrease it upon your preference so i'll leave it at, at at 150 or you can change it to 100 which will not work for us because you'll be able to uh you'll be knocking your legs on the on, on the shear studs which will be much funny for this particular work so just put it make sure the slab co uh, covers the shear studs and no one uh, no shear stud should be protruding after sl the slab has been casted uh, or or after casting the slab uh on top of these shear studs now we take it back to 150 and cl click modify and that's okay and correct and i'll come to navigate and i'll turn this round and you'll be able to see whatever we've done in a short period of time or a short period of time and this is how it's done and uh, i would i would like you to try the same thing and if you know or if you find any issue please just place that comment there i'll be able to respond back to you and guide you on how you can do it as quickly as possible now thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, please let's meet then on the next presentation or tutorial if you have any question please once again just post it there i'll be able to read and respond back and please bye bye and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm morris Dimba.